Hi friends, welcome to my channel, Juan the Yarn Addict here, bringing you another stitch tutorial. The stitch that you see before you today is called the tulip stitch. It's super easy. The stitch works up very, very quickly. It's a one row repeat and it looks the same on both sides. It's a little bit of texture you're seeing there. Super nice. Once you get your foundation set, it's mindless. You can go back and forth. This particular stitch is better suited for larger projects like throws and blankets, but you can make whatever you want with this. Again, it's, it's super nice to work. Um, again, it's mindless. And before you know it, you have all the work done. It's super fast. Um, this particular stitch works up in multiples of four plus five for the foundation chain. And the hook that I used was the recommended hook size for the yarn. This is Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. And on the ball band, it suggests a five and a half millimeter crochet hook, otherwise known as a US letter I. Okay, so for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and work with Red Heart Super Saver in Iran. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with creating a slip knot on our hook. However you do this is absolutely okay, so long as the end result is this. Okay, let me go ahead and zoom in so we can get a little bit closer. Okay, all right. So again, we need multiples of four. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and chain 20. Two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna keep going off camera until I get to 20. I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so I have a chain of 20 here. And for the foundation row here, the foundation chain, we're gonna to have to do five more chains. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so remember, multiples of four, and then five for the foundation chain. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three double crochets in the fifth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, and five. Right where my thumb is here, we're gonna do three double crochets. It's one, that's two, and three. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these three double crochets and they're gonna be on a, a, a tilt here. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is um, do a single crochet in the fourth chain. So skip, 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 and then a single crochet, just like that. And if you notice, those three double crochets now tilt on an axis there. That's kind of what we want. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain three. So one, two, and three. And now, in the same chain that we placed that single crochet, we're gonna do three double crochets. One, two, and three. And we're gonna repeat the same pattern all the way down our chain. So once you have the three double crochets in your chain space there, you're gonna go ahead and skip three, one, two, three, and in the fourth chain, you're gonna go ahead and put in a single crochet. You're gonna chain three, one, two, and three, and then in that same chain space, we're gonna do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, let's do it one more time. So after our three double crochets, we're gonna skip three chains, and then we're gonna go into the fourth chain with a single crochet. And then we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then we're gonna go back into that same chain space right there with three double crochets. One, two, and three, just like that, okay? So continue on until you get to the end of your chain and I will be right back. Okay, friends, so here is where I'm at right now. I'm closing in on the end of my chains and so you should have four chains left here, okay? Once you get to the end of your chains. 
So to finish this very first row, what you want to do is skip three per normal. You want to go into that very last chain and do a single crochet, just like that, okay? From here, what we need to do is chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, don't turn your work. You're gonna keep it right there for right now. And what you wanna do is you wanna go into that very first chain space where my thumb is. You wanna go in there with three double crochets. One, two, and three. Let me fix that. There we go. Now we turn the work over and we're gonna go into what I like to call jug handles. Okay, so it kind of looks like a, a juice pitcher, right? Just imagine that with me. <laughs> so to help me remember, I do a single crochet in the jug handle, just like that. Then I chain three, so that's one, that's two, and that's three. And then I put three double crochets in the jug handle. So one, two, and three. Now, if you noticed, I turned my work down because when you keep it up like that, there's a high likelihood that it may get caught on another jug handle. So I just tilt it down as I work. It's more efficient that way. So now that we've done that, we're gonna move on to the next uh, jug handle. And this is the repeat throughout the entire project, my friends. So you're literally gonna go into the jug handle and do a single crochet. You're gonna chain three and you're gonna go back into the jug handle with three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Turn that back up, go into the jug handle and do a single crochet, chain three, just like that, and do three double crochets. So continue doing that, my friends, and I will see you at the end of the row. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of the row, and once you approach the end of every row, the process is exactly the same. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into your jug handle with a single crochet, and then you wanna chain four, just like that. And before turning your work, what you wanna do is go into that very first chain, just like that, and do three double crochets. One, oops. That was one, this is two, and then three, just like that. Now you wanna turn your work over, go into the jug handle with a single crochet, chain three, and go back into your jug handle with three double crochets. It's as easy as that, my friends. Single crochet, chain three, and three double crochets. One, two, and three. Just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do several more rows to just kind of show you what this looks like worked up, and I will be right back. Okay, friends, so I went ahead and did several more rows, as I mentioned, and as I said in the beginning, it's got some great texture to it. It's got like nice little ridges happening here. It's super nice. Actually, now that I look at this, this would make a really nice scarf. Um, you could even work this up into like a cowl. Um, yeah, every, I mean, it looks great. So some key things that I just wanna remind you of while you're working this project. Um, so on the ends, just remember, on the ends you're chaining four and you're going into that first chain and then doing your three double crochets, okay? But in the middle of the rows, it's always um, single crochet and then chain three and not the four like you do on the ends, okay? So I just wanna do one final row with you guys. So here we are at the end. We're gonna go into the jug handle. As I mentioned before, we're gonna do a single crochet. We're gonna chain four, okay? And we're not gonna turn our work yet. We're gonna keep it just like this. And then we're gonna go into the first chain and do the three double crochets. Just like this, okay? 
and then we turn our work over. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a single crochet right into our jug handle here, chain three, and then continue on with the pattern, which um, obviously is three double crochets, just like this, okay? Go right into the next jug handle, single crochet and chain three, go into the jug handle with three double crochets. Oops, I missed one. Let me backtrack here. One, two, and three. Go into the jug handle, single crochet, chain three, three double crochets, just like this. Single crochet and chain three, oops. So it's chain three, three double crochets. And then here we are at the end. So let's just say we're, we're finished, right? We're not going any further. So from here, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and do your single crochet and then chain two only, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and get your scissors. You're going to snip, pull the hook away from your work and take your hand here, pinch and pinch above your uh, two chains here and then just pull down. And what you're doing is you're creating a double knot. It will not come out, okay? And then when it's time for you to sew in your ends, um, I would recommend just going back and forth into these three um, double crochets. So I'm gonna do that very quickly just to kind of show you what it is that we're doing here. We sew in our ends just like this. I'm gonna go in and then go back and then back one final time. There we go. Just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut that off. And normally I would sew this in, but this is just a tutorial. <laughs> we're just gonna cut that off like that. So there you have it, my friends. Let me just go ahead and show you the bigger swatch so we can kind of see what everything looks like. So this is the mini me. And this is the bigger one here. It's super nice, guys. Okay. So that is all I have for this tutorial, my friends. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And then, of course, hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. That's all I have for you guys today. Have a great one. Bye-bye.